What's up, fancy beauties and bowls? Welcome back. We on the road right now. Haven't done one of these videos in a minute. We have been on a total lockdown, as you guys well already know. But a blessing came through for me, and I had to take a little road trip. So I'm taking the boys on a little trip. So I can have some time to myself. Okay. I get four whole days by myself. So that's where we getting ready to go right now. And uh, this is actually a good time for me to check out the roads and see how they look. This is, of course, going to Atlanta, going to Georgia. And so you guys know the roads in Georgia are always packed full of cars. So I'm coming from North Carolina and right now I'm still, no, this right here, this scene right here, I'm actually in Georgia right now. So it is still thinned out a bit, but as we go further and further down the road, you will start to see more cars out. So unfortunately, not everyone is heeding to staying home unless it's an essential run. Everybody has their own definition, excuse me, have their own definition of essential runs. This is a essential run for my mental health. <laughs> I need a break. Uh, a six-year-old and two-year-old at my age, no ma'am, if I can get a break, I'm taking it. So this is my essential run. I'm not going to be in contact with anyone except for the person that's gonna get the boys for me they want to remain anonymous so that's not that's why i'm not saying who it is but they're uh doing me a huge favor and giving me a break that i need so much so as you can see we're getting in the heart of georgia and traffic is getting thick as you can see and everything is just not as hectic as normally it would be. No matter what time of day you go to Georgia, traffic is going to be thick. And that's not what you're seeing here. So a bulk of Georgia is following the lockdown. Their lockdown that I did find out is 9 p.m. Ours is 5 p.m. So I had to hurry get down here because it's a two-hour drive for me just about and so i had to hurry get down here drop the boys off and hurry and get back to north carolina before my curfew because i'm not trying to get a ticket i'm not trying to go to jail i'm not trying to do any of that <laughs> upon theirs. You think of their family at home, sobbing. Someone starts saying a prayer, but you can't help but cry. This isn't what we do. You stand by, you wait. This isn't what we do. You stand by, you wait. Time of death, 7.19 p.m. Doc Spencer is no stranger to deadly viruses. He's battled the Ebola virus in West Africa and was actually infected himself. He says he survived Ebola, but he fears COVID-19. And he joins me now via Zoom. Dr. Spencer, thank you for your service. They've set up these overflow tents outside of hospitals in New York. 
You say the last time you worked in a tent was actually in West Africa for Ebola. So what's it like having to work under such extreme conditions in your own backyard? It's completely unexpected and extremely unsettling. I'm used to working in research. Ooh, y'all. Yeah. All right, anyway, on a positive note, I just got back. Um, I'm taking the boys. I, I threw the... Ha, I'll show y'all what I did. I threw the boys... Uh, <laughs> covers down here because I got to wash so <clears throat> instead of making 15,000 trips up and down the stairs I decided to just um, put it right there so uh, let me grab that lost my shoe just now my house shoe so I got four days oh no there's clothes in there There you go. I got you sitting on the towel. Um, but I got four days by myself. Uh, so I'm just going to take that time to regroup. Of course, shoot some videos and just do whatever I want. myself y'all
Um, I was trying to find my, uh, Lysol, the liquid Lysol, and I thought, sure, it was down there. Um, Ooh, everything looks blue gray. Yes, the light trying to adjust. So I ordered this um, elderberry syrup, black elderberry syrup from Amazon, and it's supposed to uh, it's supposed to be good um, for your immune system. So if you can. Uh, go and get you some from Amazon. I'll try to remember to get it. No, it's my damn my so I bet you it's under the kitchen sink. I bet you it's down now. Um, but I'll leave it in, in the description bar so y'all can go get some. Let me see if I can find this Lysol. I just had it the other day. Hold on, I might be back, y'all.